my name is Amber. I'm a physical therapist at Breakthrough PT. Today I'll be talking to you about the difference between ice and heat. So many times after your PT session, your physical therapist will recommend either using ice or heat. And pretty often I get asked, what's the difference between ice and heat and which one is better? So today I'll be going over those two, including when they're used, how they work, and when you should use each. So typically ice is used to help with decreasing pain, decreasing inflammation, and decreasing swelling. So I would recommend using ice under two conditions, the first of which is after an intense workout or after an intense phys physical therapy session. So after an intense workout, what tends to happen is the muscles get a little bit swollen, there's a little bit of inflammation, that's really normal and that's part of the normal um, tissue damage that occurs when you're working out. So if you use ice, what tends to happen is it decreases the inflammation and that's going to actually help with the healing process. So the second scenario where I would recommend using ice is after an acute injury. So if you're going out for a walk or you're playing a sport and you happen to tweak your knee or pull a muscle, ice would be really good at that time. So I would recommend going home, icing your knee, icing you know, whichever muscle you happen to pull and that's going to help with decreasing the swelling and decreasing the inflammation and that's going to help also with the recovery process. So heat can be used for decreasing pain, improving soft tissue extensibility, and also improving blood flow and circulation to an area. So this is our heat pack. So I would recommend using heat, for example, if you're waking up and your neck feels really stiff from being in one static position all night long. In that case, the heat is going to help with improving your comfort, decreasing your pain, improving the blood flow to your neck musculatures. And what's going to happen is if you feel better, it's not as cold, you're less likely to injure your muscle. So our modalities are kept on for about 15 minutes, after which our aide will come back and check in with you and make sure you're doing okay. A lot of times they'll also check within that 15 minute duration to make sure that the heat pack or ice pack remains comfortable. Sometimes a patient will tell me, well, after an exercise, I prefer to use heat versus ice because I don't like the cold sensation of the ice pack. My general takeaway is that you're probably going to be okay. If you like to end with heat, then heat will probably be a good thing. The most important thing to remember is that as long as it feels comfortable, it should be good. If at any time the ice or the heat becomes uncomfortable, make sure to let one of us know and stop using it right away. So those are some tips I have regarding the use of ice or heat. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Hope to see you soon.